So you've created some objects, you've created swatches, but now you're scared to close that document because you know you're gonna lose them all. I'm gonna show you how not to. Welcome back designers. My name is Mike Pickett. I'm a logo and vector designer with nearly 20 years in the design industry. This channel is all about helping you become a better designer. So I got the idea for this video when I did this one right up here and we talked about swatches inside of Adobe Illustrator. I had a few people say, well, this is great. I've set up a bunch of swatches now, but when I close this document, there's no way to get them back again. And you're correct. If you close that document that you're working in without saving it as a document profile first, they're gone. So in this video, we're gonna take a quick minute, probably about four or five, and walk you through the process of setting up what's called the document profile so that you can start to use it as basically a template for whenever you create a new document that has things like custom objects, custom swatches, artboard selections, different things like that. Now, this is your first time here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up if you learned anything on this video. It really does help my channel grow. As you can see, I really like getting ideas or suggestions for content from my subscribers. If there's something inside of Illustrator you're just not quite understanding or you maybe need some help with, leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to not only respond, but hopefully use it as an idea for a future video. All right, let's hop over to Illustrator and get started with setting up document profiles. All right, designer, so I'm not gonna create a new document from going into Illustrator, going up to File New. We're actually gonna go a different route on this. So I'm gonna open up my Finder window here and I've got the path already laid out. It's a long one. It's uh, not a simple way to find, but if you bear with me, you'll get there. Now I'm gonna put up the path for Windows down in the bottom of the screen, but you should be seeing this path. So you're not gonna see library over in your sidebar. I actually had to place this here and I, I do it because I get into this quite a bit and make changes to kind of different files and different sections. So I always like to have my library available in the sidebar, but you're gonna to go to library, application support, Adobe, Illustrator 24. Now it just depends on what version of Illustrator you're running. If you're running the latest version, it should be 24. If not, you're gonna to wanna to just go ahead and click into whichever version it is that you've got installed. From there we're gonna go English US, which again, depends on your version. You might have a different version. I've got the English US installed new document profiles, and then into our final folder, which is where we see all of the different document profiles that we have available to us when we first start into Illustrator. I'm gonna go ahead and click on print. We're gonna open that one up. So we've got our print.ai file open. Now if I click through this, it's your basic document setup. We've got all of our swatches, we have our brushes, and we have our symbols. These are the things that we wanna customize. So for example, I'm gonna come into swatches. We've covered this in an earlier video, like I mentioned in the intro. Swatches will show you how to do everything I'm doing right now, but you can follow along with me in this one as well. I'm gonna go and click on the little hamburger menu, select all unused. Now there's a couple of stragglers left, right? So we're gonna command click on this folder and then on our white and our black. Two that we can't get rid of, of course, are the registration one and the none. Those have to stay in the document no matter what. I'm then gonna click on the trash can. It's gonna come up, delete the swatch selection. I'm gonna say yes, everything's gone. Don't worry, the key with this, don't hit save yet either. We're gonna do the same thing in brushes. I'm gonna click on the top one, shift click on the very bottom one, hit the trash can, delete, everything's gone. And then our last one we're gonna do is symbols, same process, and delete. So now from here what I wanna do is actually save this as a different document profile. You can save it whatever you want, but we're gonna go up to file, down to save as, or you can also go shift command S on your keyboard. And the reason I open it in that path that we were in before in Finder is because that way when I save this, because it's an AI, it's gonna open that same folder. And we wanna make sure that's where we're saving it to. So I'm gonna rename this. We can rename it whatever. I'm gonna say Mike's Amazing Profile. Now the key to this, you can save this in multiple sort of styles or with multiple swatches, depending on what you're working on. So if you're a logo designer and you also do web design, you could have two separate profiles inside of here. If you've got profiles where you want swatches for web design, you want swatches for logo design, you want swatches for business cards, or even your symbols, so you've got different symbol libraries for each one that you work in, you can save them out as, say, web profile or my logo profile, anything like that. Naming convention, it's up to you, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Save. It's gonna have this Illustrator options window, no different than any other time, just click okay. 
We've now saved that out and you'll see that the document file has changed Mike's amazing profile. And if I come over here back to that finder window again, you'll see here it is inside of here. Now, if you're on this screen, and this is where I talked about before, if we go File, New, this is our new document window inside of Adobe Illustrator 2020, and I believe this goes back to about 2018. Now, if I come over to Web, we still don't see it, View All Presets, right? Nothing there. It was built on the Print Profile, so if I come into this one and go View All, there it is right there. Now, here's the thing. There's two easier methods of finding this and actually using this profile. I can come over and click on more settings. And then from here, this profile, I can come down. And there's my Mike's amazing profile. And again, it is set up with these document characteristics. So with the size, width, height, you can change all of that inside of the document. Or I can come here and close this. And if you want to use the prior sort of screen, you can come down to preferences. So Illustrator, preferences. Or you can hit Command K on your keyboard, which will bring up your general. And then we're going to go to this here. Use Legacy File New Interface and hit OK. So from now on, when I hit File New, it's going to come up with this screen and I can simply select Mike's Amazing Profile from right there. Now, instead of opening it as Mike's Amazing Profile, we actually get an untitled document and I can use this. And if you see, even in this untitled document, my swatches, my brushes and my symbols are all empty. So a few things that you're going to want to do in this case, because we have deleted everything, is create some new swatches, some new brushes, and maybe some new symbols. Let's start with a quick swatch. So what I can do is I can actually come down here, we're just going to create just a rectangle. I'm going to double click on my fill down here at the bottom, and I'm just going to select a color. I'm not too worried about what color it is at this point, just because I'm showing this as an example. I'm going to click OK. All right, now one of the easiest ways to make a new swatch is to just drag from this little block here down into this window. You'll see that I've now got my new swatch. So I'm going to double click on it just to make some edits. And we're going to rename this instead of using this swatch name of the CMYK values. We're going to call it Burgundy Line on My Shirt. I'm going to tab out. We're going to leave it as a process color. We don't want to change it to a spot color. I'm going to leave it as process and we're going to make it a global color. And that way if I use this color on anything, just like I said before in the swatches video, I can update this and it's going to change the colors for everything inside of this document that I use. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And again, we notice that little triangle in the bottom corner tells us this is a global color. Let's make a symbol. So I'm going to use this same piece. Let me get rid of the stroke on it, and I'm just going to pull it down just a little bit. I'm going to go Object, Path, and Add Anchor Points, and that's going to give me these two anchor points, and then we're just going to drag that ahead, maybe a little less there, and I'm going to give it some round corners as well. Let's select everything. That's about good, so that's 30. That's not bad. All right, so it's just quick. Again, I'm going to grab this piece, drag it into my symbols panel. From here, I can name it. So we're going to say rounded chevron. All right, and again, it is a graphic. I'm going to make it a static symbol. You could go dynamic. I'm going to talk more about symbols in a future video. We're going to go static symbol, and I'm going to hit OK. And then we've got our new symbol there. So I could just drag this out as many iterations as I want resize it, do whatever I need to for my design. So that's the basics of this. Now, again, because we're in an untitled document, right, these things aren't going to save. So what I would have to actually do is come up and go File, Save As. I'm still inside of here, so I'm going to go ahead and click that Mike's Amazing Profile again, replace it. All right. Now, here's the key. I saved this with these symbols on the artboard. So let's close both of these. We're going to go File, New, and I'm going to leave it as that Mike's Amazing Profile. I'm going to hit OK. Nothing's there. So all it's doing is it's saving, because it's a profile, it's saving your swatches, your brushes, and your symbols. doesn't matter what's on the artboard. But if I wanted to save something, so let's drag this down, and I save this just as a regular file. So I'm just going to copy a few of these out. There we go. i got a few of them, so I'm going to go File save as, and I'm just going to go to my desktop and save this just as uh, Mike's Chevron's 
good enough. I'm going to go save OK, OK. And that's done saving. That now is going to save it with whatever I've got on the artboard. So the key to this, though, you want to be careful as well, because if you're doing things like, say, your logo or an icon that represents your company or you're using a signature like your signature is in here and you've created a symbol out of it, you're going to want to go ahead and delete those because otherwise, if you save this as an AI file and pass this off to anybody else, it's going to be available inside of your symbols inside of your brushes. So anything that you include in these three panels, swatches, brushes, and symbols, is going to be available in future AI files that you save this as. So just be aware of that. So as you can see, designers, setting up your own document profiles, number one is going to save you a little bit of time in the future because that way if you're using custom symbols or custom swatches, you've got them available to you no matter what, every time you create a new document, as long as you're using that profile. Don't forget that, you gotta select the right profile to make it work. So that's it for this one, designers. Now, aside from subscribing, if you're looking for another way to support the channel, I do have a Patreon account as well. Monthly support starts at only a dollar a month. It just kinda helps keep the channel running currently got one Patreon. Colin, really appreciate you. Thank you for sticking with me. All right, designers, I gotta get back to work now. I'm currently working on the 36 day logo challenge. I'm not actually tagging any of them with that 36 days of type or anything. I just thought it'd be fun to do. I'll show you some of them on my Instagram account. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, you can find the link down below in my link tree. Again, would love to have you over there. I also just unlocked the community tab on the channel here. So I'm gonna be posting content there quite regularly. Make sure you check out the community tab whenever you're here. See what we've been discussing. To those of you that already found it and left a couple of comments, thank you very much. Appreciate your support. Thanks for being part of the channel. Okay, designers, get out there and design something. I'll see you in the next video. Let me know what you thought of the format here with kind of split screens and different layout. I've never actually recorded myself on two cameras while I was doing the Illustrator stuff, so. I'm hoping it worked out. If you didn't see any of that in the video, it's because it didn't work out.